What's up, Virgo? This is Soul from Intuitive Tarot, here to look at your week ahead, starting September 9th, uh, 2024. Virgo, I hope all is well, and I hope you guys are enjoying your birthdays, and I want to take this time and opportunity to wish all the Virgos who are celebrating their birthday by chance this week, or this upcoming week, starting the 9th, a very happy and safe birthday celebration. This time around, Virgo, I am using... Um, what deck is this? The A.E. Weight Tarot to deliver your messages. Not going to read. Oh, look at that. We don't want that, do we? The tower at the bottom. Um, so, yeah, A.E. White, uh, Weight Tarot deck. Okay, not reading reversals. So, we're just going to shuffle up the energies here real good and see what is coming up for Virgo this week. What are the energies for Virgo? These are actually small cars. I sort of like appreciate that. <laughs> Energies for Virgo. What's coming up for Virgo? Hope you guys had a nice Labor Day um, weekend. Holiday. All right. Without further ado, let's see what's going on. Virgo, what's coming up? First card in energy, well, you got the chariot. All right, so I hope you guys can see that this has like a little glare on it, so I don't know if I'm supposed to be using a nightlight or something on these cards or whatever, but it has a sort of like a glare. Anyway, the chariot, the major arcana, is the first card for you, Virgo, and the chariot is very, um, one of the, you know, positive major arcana, so I always talk about the chariot where there's going to be some sort of rapid change occurring for you. And the rapid change that usually comes in Virgo is usually very, very positive. Now, of course, you know, the card that, you know, one of the cards that indicate movement, traveling, you know, so you could be, you know, the Virgo who is uh, traveling this week. If you are, you're going to be safe to and from, whether it's vacationing, um, work related matters. Some of you may be, you know, purchasing cars. Some of you may have car repairs, major or minor. I equate the uh, chariot with that of the star card, you know, hopes, wishes, and dreams becoming fulfilled and manifested. So anything that you're wishing for, hoping for, praying for this week may manifest for you. Um, social media, social network always falls under the energy of the chariot. Also, just don't be the Virgo that gets behind the wheel of a vehicle. Disregard the speeding limit. Rest assuredly, if you do, you will end up with a moving violation. Up next after that, we have the Ace of Swords. Okay, we're going to put that on top. The Ace, Well, maybe because they're so small. Maybe I'll do it this way. Okay, Ace of Swords is victory and success. Uh, it's a card of, um, you know, seeking some sort of clarity, clearing up any confusion, uncertainty. Doubts or fears centered around a situation, person, or event. This is also a card that represents... Um, you know, seeking that excitement, adventure, okay? First actions, first moves. Victory and success can be attached to anything that's going on with you currently or any of the cards that follow the Ace of Swords. On top of the Ace of Swords here, now we have the Six of Cups. All right, so some of you are going down memory lane, feeling nostalgic this week. Now, as I've been saying in the previous week, uh, readings, and I don't know if you have received the Six of Cups, but I've been saying we are entering into that season where people from your past, you know, like family, it could be friends. Um, we're talking about high school reunions, college reunions. These people may be thinking about you, you know, um, maybe, you know, wanting to connect with you if that is the case and what you're dealing with. I do have a... Um, Reunion coming up in October. Uh, so this energy may be um, part of, uh, you know, what could be going on with you. But anyway, they're thinking of you in a good emotional way. It's an even number of cups. So again, emotionally, what you give is what you're going to get back. Also, some of you may be, um, you know, um, memorializing someone that you uh, were close to or that you knew. And the date significant would be, you know, September 9th. And this is my own. Um, you know, I come up with this own energy. September 9th through, I think, the 15th, 16th. Those dates can be um, anything related to their passing date or their uh, birth dates. Following the Six of Cups, now we have, oh, 
Did I wish this on you, uh, Virgo? If I did, I do apologize. We have the tower. That was at the bottom of the deck. Uh, well, all right. So let's, you know, continue with the energy here. Of course, you know, when the tower is uncontrollable, right? But you have the significant, um, you know, major arcana of the chariot that will take down the energy of the tower. So this is always about shocking news, devastation. Uh, it may not be something that directly affects you or impacts you. So I always talk about it could be that you receive shocking, devastating news that's, you know, on a global scale, worldly scale, anything involving our politics, um, things becoming disruptive. I always see the tower as the universe shaking things up to put things in place. So you can look at it that way. So there's no need for you to try to control it. Um, because you can't control it. This is involving our weather, the wars that are ongoing, earthquakes. I always mention that. Things just coming in, um, shaking things up for you. Uh, if it's not for you personally, then something else that comes up, comes along that's um, shocking or devastating. All right. So following the tower here for you, Virgo, we have the Page of Cups. Page of Cups is, uh, of course, pregnancy news, childbirth. It could be a job offer. I always talk about it uh, could be the Virgo who I'm speaking to may have entered into a uh, new relationship that is less than 30 days old. But because it follows this tower here, it may be on shaky ground. All right. What you started off with was, you know, something good. But now things are starting to feel a little bit tense or rocky. And by the way, let me swing back here to the tower. I always suggest not to get or engage into any fights or arguments with anyone because it's not going to turn out to be. Uh, too well. All right. So that's the page of cups following the tower could be any um, instances where a new relationship may go through some, you know, trials and tribulations. Also to the page of cups um, could still unite uh, relationships, bring those relationships together. And I'm talking about romantic as well as platonic. Following that, we have the Four of Cups. Four of Cups is an even number of cups socializing, all right? So, again, like the Six of Cups, what you give is what you're going to get back, Virgo. Uh, socializing could be just, you know, um, exchanging energies with your family, romantic partners, friends. Could be, you know, investing time eating out at restaurants or diners. Just feeling social. On top of the Four of Cups here, now we have the High Priestess. So the High Priestess is here, so it's important for you to pay attention to your intuition. She also, too, is going to take... And I like the fact that the High Priestess, the Major Arcana, mirrors over here to the Tower, as well as the Chariot. Okay, so you, I'm not pulling, um, you know, receiving any messages related to that. I'm just saying that, you know, uh, when it comes to this High Priestess here, you definitely want to trust your gut feelings, your inner voices that you hear. Secrets are being kept either by you from someone or someone is keeping secrets from you. Opposites attract. This still represents relationships. And just like that major arcana, the chariot, this High Priestess here is also the type of energy that comes through that um, is asking or advising you to be patient um, in some manner. Now, it could be involving a situation, a person, or anything else that's going on. There's some sort of patience that's being asked of you, um, Virgo, this week, okay? Just be a little bit more patient for whatever it is. Then we have, oh, man, you got the lovers. Okay, so now I normally say when the lover shows up in the spread, in spite of the tower's presence, you should not have any, you know, uh, unwanted interactions with other people. This card here represents an even playing field. So, you know, the people that you're dealing with, whether they're uh, business partners, whether they're romantic partners, family members, friends, it's, you know, even playing field, right? Seeing eye to eye with one another. The lovers is a stronger energy, uh, more so than that of the page of cups. So it definitely will bring business partnerships together, romantic partnerships together, and also platonic friends. And then it could be something going on with the family dynamics as well. So you have the lovers here um, in your spread. And that too is going to take down the energy of that tower significantly. Up next now, we have the uh, Seven of Wands. So we already have the Ace of Swords, right? First actions, first moves, decisions. Well, this Seven of Wands here is that if you're, you know, moving forward in the week, 
whatever actions or decisions that you're about to carry out, you stand your ground. Okay, move, always move forward because if you don't, then this is a card of regret for me. If you don't move forward with your actions or decisions this week, Virgo, then you will end up regretting that choice or action. All right, so always follow through. Then on top of that, we have the Queen of Wands. She's always focused on something or someone, normally going after whatever it is that she's focused on. So you're actually, you know, drawing some energy, positive energy towards you. Or you could be moving towards that positive energy. Um, this card here always represents an intensity when it comes to passion, uh, sexual energy, sexual expression. So, um, yeah, you have the Queen of Wands. Also, uh, the Queen could, you know, send in that burst of energy to any Virgo who is, you know, inspired by creative arts. Okay, she could, you know, also send that energy to your way. Following the Queen of Wands, and now we have, oh, you got the moon. Okay, so the moon. Oh, the moon. Now, that's a major arcana. Uh, that also, too, but see, the moon can be tricky at times. So, you know, sitting underneath that tower, I still would say that it would bring down the energy of the uh, tower's energy significantly. But also, too, like the high priestess, pay attention to your intuition. You have to trust what you feel. Uh, energetically this week, no matter what it is, you know, um, also too, you have to uh, know that there is a cycle of energy that's uh, moving away from you. New cycle is about to begin making sure that, you know, um, you're keeping your emotions on, you know, tap there that you're not, you know, experiencing the high moon's energy. We don't want to be high. We don't want to be too low. We just want to strike a balance when it comes to our emotions illumination things that were kept from you since the high priestess is about keeping secrets now the moon tricks up the high priestess so whatever that could have been hidden from you now comes to revelations for you okay also uh i always say that the moon has this uh capacity to uh you know when it comes to the um relationships that you have with other people Things can get really, really, you know, deep and emotional. OK, um, I always get that, you know, a greater depth of dedication, devotion. It could be love, someone falling in love, likes and crushes come forward because of the uh, high priestess. That's usually about, you know, likes and crushes. And now we have the moon that will, you know, more than likely reveal someone in terms of a like or a crush. And then we also have the page of cups that's the new relationship that could be the new crush all right so after the moon here now we have oh shit you got the sun okay immediately with the sun here in the presence of that tower always power outages it could be anything going on with shortages you know electrical shortages and stuff like that that's right off the, the top but because it is um uh, the most powerful arcana major arcana in the tarot deck this is a card that's filled with blessings love happiness success yes answer to all romantic questions it could also be that you're feeling childlike this week you could be just the virgo that i'm reading for that works in the health industries because this is my health card um there could be just you know um normal routine uh, medical exams or checkups x-rays of all kinds fall underneath the energy of the sun you could be the virgo that lives in florida california hence we got the uh traveling card here but it could be uh that you're traveling to these two destinations or it could be somewhere else that's warm sunny and welcoming anyone who is undergoing any treatments for cancer radiation chemotherapy you're going to be fine okay the sun never comes into dimmer. It always brightens. So you have the sun here. And then it's an aspect of some sort of blessings that may, um, you know, that you may be uh, receiving this week as well. Yeah, pregnancy news. I see pregnancy news here and then possibly some sort of childbirth. If it's not you, somebody that you know. On top of that sun, now we have the Ten of Pentacles. Now your own energy shows up here. And this is the card of abundance, Virgo, right? So this is a big money card. Uh, so it could involve inheritances, actual promotions, pay raises, bonus money. Uh, and I always say if it's the absence of money for you, uh, Virgo, it could be that you're feeling abundant about something 
or some area in your life, whether you're single or in a relationship, you're, you know, equally taking care of your own needs and your wants. And then if you're in a relationship, if you're single, but if you're in a relationship, you're, um, you know, you and your partner are sharing equally, give and take. So I like that. If you're the risk taking Virgo who likes to go to casino runs, gamble, play the lottery, just play responsibly. This is big money here. Last card I have for you, Virgo, is the Four of Swords. Well, the Four of Swords is already uh, trumped by the chariot. It cross mirrors over here to the chariot where, you know, I always talk about if you are planning future trips. So some of you may be planning trips this week and then executing, taking those trips this week. Otherwise, this is rest, relaxation, rejuvenation, normally detaching your energies from your work, your relationships, um, just doing something, you know, for yourself, exclusively for yourself, reclaiming your independence, your happiness uh, that doesn't involve the attachments that you currently have. And this is like temporary energy. So it could be that, you know, the person is laying down here. It could be that you just need to rest your mind away from something or someone just for a moment. And then, you know, after you get that rest and rejuvenation, you'll be fine. All right, so this is what I have for you, Virgo. Uh, again, I hope you guys can see the cards here because of this multicolored glare. I forgot what they call that. But anyway, um, remember, it's just me interpreting these messages for you. Uh, always throw in an extra word of caution, of safety when the tower is present. But you have enough significant major arcana surrounding that tower that I don't even think it's... I think it's just that you're going to receive some sort of shocking or devastating news that may be impacting or affecting other people or if it's on a worldly or global stage, okay? Again, we could be seeing something shocking or devastating involving our politics, the Supreme Court, something, like I said, the universe coming in to uh, disrupt something just to normalize it. All right, so um, please like the video, share the video, uh, comment. I love to, you know, read the comments. Uh, so you guys, um, you know, always come back here to get more of these readings from me. Be safe once again. Enjoy your birthdays if you are celebrating. And I will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.